this as we walk in the year 2022. Let's cultivate the habit of giving thanks unto God. Grateful heart. That is what is required of us. In the next ten minutes, we shall begin to count our blessings and name them one by one. Let us begin to thank God for what he has done this month for you. Month of February. I want us to begin to give thanks unto God. The month is almost gone. This month of February 2022. I believe God has blessed each and every one of us. This is our year of showers of blessing. And I know that God is a faithful God who will bless us. And I know that he has been blessing you. Begin to give thanks unto God. Say thank you, Father, for the month of February that you are still alive. That you are breathing with all parts of your body functioning normally. Give thanks unto God. <clears throat> Give thanks unto God. You are alive today. Check parts of your body. They are all functioning well. You are not in the hospital. You are hale and hearty. Give thanks unto God. That you are breathing, breathing, meaning that you are alive. Give thanks unto God. <coughs> Give thanks. Give thanks. Be thankful, be grateful for your very existence. It's only the living that can praise God, that can give thanks. You are a living being. Give thanks. That you have been redeemed. <coughs> Being alive in Christ, give thanks. That you have been redeemed. You have been redeemed from the hands of your enemy. That you have been redeemed from the power of sin and power of death. Give thanks unto God. You are alive in Christ. It's not your making. It's the grace of God upon your life. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. That you have been created as human beings. Not as animal, not a plant. You are created in God's image, meaning that you are special, you are precious. The psalmist says, What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him, you care for him? Give thanks. Give thanks. God is ever mindful of you. All the time. That you are wonderfully and fearfully made. <coughs> Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Our God is good all the time. He's a merciful God. Give thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Count your blessings, name them one by one.
I'm sure there are some specific blessings for which you should thank God for. I want you to begin to count them before the Lord. Specific blessings. Specific blessings as it apply, as they apply to you in the month of February. You have to give thanks. Don't be vague about it. Be very specific. Don't be too general. Count your blessing. Name them one by one. Count your blessing before your maker. Count your blessing. What has the Lord done for you in the month of February? This is our year of showers of blessing. And our God is ever faithful. Count your blessing, name them one by one. Name them. This is what the Lord has done for you. Talk to God. Father, I thank you. You have done this, you have done this, you have done this. This month of February. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. But then, as we approach another month, month of March, you should, in anticipation, begin to give thanks unto God. You will get to the month of March. And you will be blessed. Look at what Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And that is the thought of God towards you. He says, For I know the plans, I know the thoughts that I have what? For you. Who is saying it? Say the Lord. Thought of what? Thought of peace, you will have peace. And not of what? Evil will not be for you. To give you what? A hope. And what? Give you a hope. See, I say, to give you a future and a hope, you will have that future. It will be a glorious future. The book of Lamentation says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never come to an end. He's still there for you. He's going to be merciful unto you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he says, He said, call to me. I will do what? I will answer you. I will show you what? Great and mighty things you never knew. That is revelation. You will have revelation. You will have revelation. If you go down that chapter, Jeremiah 33, verse 6, he says, Behold, I will bring to it what? Health and what? Healing. You will re receive good health. Healing is for you. Say, I will heal them. That is the word of God. And reveal to them what? Abundance of prosperity and security. That's total package. This coming months, all these things are coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to give thanks to God for his steadfast love and mercy for the months of March. You are claiming them in anticipation of what God is going to do in the month of March. He has said it. He said he honors his word even more than his name. That is our God. That is our God. God is not man that he should lie. Let's acknowledge his steadfast love and mercy. And give him thanks for the coming months. He has promised us revelation for the coming months as we call upon him. Let's give thanks unto God. 
is going to reveal things unto us. We will not walk in darkness. We will not walk in ignorance. We will not walk in darkness. We will not walk in ignorance. We will have understanding. You will have knowledge. We will have wisdom to exercise dominion in your work with the Lord. Give thanks. <laughs> Give thanks unto God that, that has promised earth and healing. Give thanks. He has promised us earth and healing. Give thanks. He has promised us abundance of prosperity and security. In the coming month, give thanks. 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 For his glorious plans. For you and your family. Give thanks. As you enter the month of March, all the plans of God will begin to manifest. Good things will begin to come your way because that is the promise of the Father. You will you enter the month of March in peace. Good things will come your way in the month of March. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give thanks. Give thanks. And 26. Acts 16, 25 and 26. The Bible says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners ate them. And suddenly, say suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loose. Brethren, tonight is the dominion night of praises and prayer. We are told that Paul and Silas sang praises unto God. They did not sing praises to their neighbors. They were not singing praises to the prisoners, although the prisoners heard them. Their heart was connected with the heart of the Almighty. They sang praises to God. Even though those around could hear them. But their praises was not meant for those around. It was meant for God. Are you going to sing praises to God tonight? Are you going to worship Him tonight? And as you do so, there's going to be a great earthquake. Every foundation of evil will be destroyed. 
the showers of the windows of heaven will open and showers of blessings will pour upon us and your bounds will be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. It is time to praise the Lord. And I want you to jam those hands together as we welcome our brother, Minister Ayoade Adetayo, to lead us in worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.